Okay, hello, greetings, and welcome. All right, so this um, this next exercise is called dragon breathing. It's um, for strengthening virility. Uh, it um, builds uh, a lot of testosterone in the body. Uh, so when uh, men start hitting that 50, 50 years old and they want to strengthen up their sexual energy, the exercise um, does it really, really well. So I'll, I'll post this one on YouTube and it'll be part of the Vimeo course for uh, cultivating sexual energy, which leads into um, tantric uh, sexual practices. So it'll be on that, uh, that series. All right, so um, this is also used for activating and feeling um, energy uh, very, very easily. A person actually can just do this one without understanding Qigong and they'll get very strong energetic sensations within the astral body, not only just the vital, but mostly the astral. So it's a physiological mechanism that releases astral feeling of Qi. So when people want to feel Qi, to mobilize Qi, this is, this is a fast track for doing that. There's lots of different Qigong exercises which are mechanical, which generate internal perceptions where you, you, can, you can sense and feel internal energy flows. And this is one of those exercises. Okay, so you, you want to get towards the edge of your chair, get the testicles hanging down um, uh, comfortably. Uh, for, for, for women, you just want to get the pelvic tilt so that for men, you pull the testicles in. For women, you squeeze. So uh, for, for women who do the, you know, putting the, the marble crystal eggs inside and they do circulation and squeezing exercises, on the in-breath there's a squeeze and an inward pulling suction. For, for men, you raise the testicles and you, you try to pull them into your body. All right, so the, the dragon breathing is very high speed breathing. You just tap into the feeling of vital energy if you've already done that. If you haven't, not that important, but uh, it ampl it's an amplifier where you have your attention. Uh, so you start with the vital breathing and uh, stabilize the magnetic feeling between the hands. And then we're going to breathe in through the nose and there's just a, a slight pulling of the joints. So as you pull the joints open, it's like if I grab something and I, I, I do a pulling action, there's a, a pulling load across the joint. It's not a pushing load to open the joint, it's a pulling load to open the joint. So I want to create an electric pulse. And as I do that, I pull the diaphragm down, I pull the testicles up, and these two forces meet in my center of gravity and create a small shock. And that's why it's called dragon breathing. So dragon breath activates the dantian and shocks the center. So <laughs> the out breath, you just let it, let it go. You're not actually breathing out, you're letting it out. It's in through the nose and it's a sudden sharp magnetic. <laughs> and on the in breath and you do that shock, you slam the testicles up onto the body. Um, women, uh, it's like they're, they're having sex with their partner, they grip their man's penis and grab it and tear it inside their body and hold onto it. So it's a very, very volatile uh, dragon type of I've got this, I'm not going to let it go. You really pull, smash the testicles onto the body, grip the, the, the area of the ovaries and the lips uh, for women and lock it in. And it's almost violent in the way it locks in. It stimulates a primal type of um, uh, energy and uh, gets a huge amount of um, human growth hormone, testosterone, and those chemicals that, that stimulate virility, health, vitality. We do this in cycles of uh, 36 to start with. And once 36 is comfortable, you move to cycles of 108. So 36 breaths. Okay, so you'd continue that for your 36 breath cycle. And then at the end of 36 breaths, you just tune into the space between your hands. You slow the breathing down. Very long, slow breaths. So you, it's called tuning the breath. 
slowly breathe in. Just very, very slowly breathe out. Now, this can take you one minute to breathe in, one minute to breathe out. When you're doing 108 breaths, you've got so much oxygen in your body, you have so much energy pumped that there's fire. You're, you Remember, you've been slamming the testicles up on the body. You've been pulling a diaphragm towards your physical center of gravity. The, the inner cauldron of your center of gravity, as soon as you drop into this slow breath and you do your lower abdominal dantian breathing, the feeling between your hands gets really thick and fluidic. You feel a deep, strong magnetic fluid. And you just breathe into the cauldron. You just fire the cauldron. As you're doing that, you just relax the testicles down. Slow, long astral breaths. Anywhere from one minute in to one minute out to breath rate of, um, of 10 seconds. Uh, up to you, but the longer the better. Long, slow breath. Now, there's a, with tuning the breath to, to move into this astral feeling, you want to move the breath to a point where you're breathing in so slowly that if you put your finger on your nose, you don't detect the air moving. So it's very, 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 very slow, very, very, very simple and powerful. Then as you uh, you breathe out, you breathe through the nose so slowly, it's barely detectable movement of air. And what this does is it starts transforming the gin into the chi very, very, very deeply and quickly. So your vital energy turns into astral energy and it gets thick, heavy and slow. And most people on the first time they do this are going to get a, a strong magnetic, thick, syrupy quality between the hands. This is your astral body, this is your astral field, this is what the Taoists call Qi. And uh, we want to cultivate that energy. Now, you, you'll do this um, uh, thick fluidic uh, breathing exercise, one minute, two minutes, three minutes, ten minutes, for as long as you feel comfortable, and then do your next round, another 108 dragon breaths. Um, again, pulling your testicles up, diaphragm down in your center of gravity, and then firing the cauldron. Now the cauldron is, you're gonna feel the heat when we go to the slow tuning the breath. And this slow tuning the breath here is you're sinking, your astral center of gravity is actually up around your heart region, where we are sinking it down to the physical body and dropping it into the physical center to fire the physical cauldron. The reason why we do this, it forces the reticulation between the astral and vital bodies to build an idea or a concept. So once you've done a few rounds of this, then you're going to touch your training partner, feel their base, relax under, and put this fluidic energy, this chi, into your normal rebounding fajin process. So whatever intrinsic energy you're, you're training, you use this fuel as your base energy. And it works incredibly well for someone who knows nothing about internal training. All they have to do is understand the mechanics of rebounding, where you touch a person's base, feel their feet, feel how you drop the body, relax underneath, leave underneath with the fascia of the body. You do this exercise first, then do the mechanical Fajin exercise, and people go click. Ah, that's how Fajin works. That's how Fa Chi works. That's how empty force works. Because large amounts of Chi start to reticulate due to the mechanics of this exercise. You just need to tune the breath very slowly, in breath, very slowly, out breath, Pay attention to the space between the hands. Pay attention to your center of gravity. Condense in the center of gravity as you press the hands and then open into the center of gravity as you open the hands and get your, your cauldron firing up. The reason why this works so well is when you pull the joints open and do that, that in-breath and you slap the testicles up onto the body and you pull the diaphragm down into your physical center of gravity, this magnetic shock is building pure magnetic potential. And all the oxygen going to your body, you're, you're breathing at more than a double the normal breath weight rate. You're getting so much more in than normal. You're loading the body with vi the vital energy in that air. If you do this under a very powerful um, um, uh, uh, set of trees in, inside an old forest, the energy is just off the chart. It's, it's very, very empowering. This is a mechanical way for people to feel chi very, very quickly. And you apply this to the fajin process, people get fajin 
and they don't need years of training, they need minutes of training. So explore this, this exercise and explore the rebounding force videos on how to mechanically put your stretch underneath someone, feel their base, create that, those big circles, and then run this feeling through those circles, and you've got an internal power model that anyone can do without being sensitive to energy. Thank you for your time, and uh, see you on the next video.